Okay guys, what we've got here is the customer's brought the vehicle in for its uh, annual inspection um, and the vehicle's failed on a airbag light and some other little bits and pieces. Um, carrying out a scan on the vehicle and as you can see we've got P-code down here. Oh, let it focus. All right. There you go, 16, yeah, P1690. Permanent fault, airbag, okay, and left curtain, okay. What I've done is um, spoken to the customer about it and he said that the light came on last week when he accidentally kicked the glove box. Um, under further investigation, taking the glove box out, we thought there might be an issue with the wiring up here to the airbag. This was obviously insecure um, and then found out it wasn't related to the issue at all. Um, further investigation, obviously we've checked all the fuses to make sure they're all okay. Um, and this P code um, was related to, once you pull the floor out from under the seat, there is underneath here, I say, a multi-plug. All right, oh, got my light out. There's a multi-plug here for the seat, and it ended up being that the codes relate to the pretensioner and the pressure sensor in the seat, and this connection here was insecure. Okay, so what I've done is sprayed it up with a little bit of uh, lubricant, worked it in and out, secured it nice and secured, gone back into the system, um, we've started the vehicle, and the airbag's gone straight out. So after resetting this one, um, everything's, but this is where the code relates to, and that sits with a couple of little clips. Okay, just here, and one obviously on the other side. All right, energy just sits there, a couple of little clips, but it'll come out from underneath. So taking this off, turn it over, and there's your culprit just there. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Put it back in, clean it, reset your system, and you'll find the car will be absolutely fine. Thanks very much.